I'm Alon Morrison, and this is the new Aphex. My name is Alon Morrison, and I'm a producer working out of Los Angeles, California. Baby, I've, been thinking about us. I've had the privilege of working with some great and diverse artists. There's Dr. Dre, George Clinton, and Slack. Speaking of diverse, Aphex has just introduced a new product that's off the hook. Five. Today, I'd like to introduce you to all the features of the channel. Let's check it out. Channel, this is a brand new product from Aphex for 2011. The legendary model 230 has been reimagined, adding a host of new features while retaining its sound quality, functionality, and versatility that made the original 230 a classic. Channel is a hybrid tube preamp using Aphex patented reflective plate amplifier technology. It has a solid state front end which gives it a very fast transient response and a very detailed sound. But it also has a tube back end that gives it a nice round warm sound. Think of it as a Neve style front end with a universal audio style back end. Channel also contains a ton of Aphex processing as well as a high quality 24 bit 96k analog to digital converter. Let's take a look at the front panel. First up is our 1 mega ohm instrument input. This input overrides the rear panel microphone input, allowing you to keep your microphone plugged in while you use the instrument input. This input allows channel to be used as a DI when recording guitar or bass. I can tell you that some of the bass tracks that I've recorded with the channel are outstanding. The input level knob controls the gain of both the microphone input and the instrument's input. It also doubles as a drive control for the compressor. More on that in just a moment. Use the 75 Hz high pass filter when using a handheld mic with channel for live performances. This will remove most of the microphone handling noise. 48 volts of phantom power is supplied to power condenser microphones. The phase invert button will invert the incoming signal 180 degrees. This can be helpful when using multiple microphones on the same source. For example, miking the top and bottom of a snare drum, you'd want to invert the phase on the bottom mic. The job of the phase rotator is to produce asymmetrical waveforms. If you've ever looked at a wave file in a digital audio workstation, you'll notice that sometimes the energy is higher on the top of the wave than it is on the bottom of the wave, or vice versa. The phase rotator solves that problem. Not only does the asymmetrical waveform sound better, but it makes the job easier for the processors. Sometimes, even when the input gain knob is turned all the way down, the input signal can be so hot it's still clipping the input. This is when you engage the pad, it brings the signal down by about 20 decibels and brings that input signal under control. Channel includes the Aphex patented Easy Rider compression. It automatically adjusts the threshold, the ratio, and the attack depending on the signal coming in on the input. As I mentioned earlier, the input gain knob doubles as the compressor's drive control. The higher you turn this up, the more compressed the sound will be when the compressor is engaged. Keep in mind that when you use a lot of compression, you're going to have to turn up the output control to compensate for the gain reduction. The release control allows you to change the character of the compression. For more natural open sound, set it slow. For a more aggressive, compressed sound, set it faster. The gain reduction meter gives you visual feedback as to how hard you're compressing the signal. The peak meter shows the overall output level of the device post the output level knob. The word clock select button allows you to select the internal sample rate of the device anywhere from 44.1 to 96k. You can also select external and the channel will lock to the incoming word clock signal via the rear panel BNC input. Next, we have the Aphex patented logic assisted gate. The traditional problem of trying to use a compressor and a gate on the same signal is that the compressor is trying to release and bring the signal back up, the gate is trying to close. So the two processors are forever fighting each other. On the channel, when the gate is activated, the release of the compressor is frozen. This solves the problem and avoids the level jumps usually associated with compressors and gates. The threshold sets the level at which the gate will be opened. The depth knob determines how much signal will pass when the gate is closed. If it's turned up completely clockwise, there will be complete silence when the gate is closed. Sometimes, the combination of a certain voice and a certain microphone will cause a whistling sound when the letter S is pronounced. 
Sometimes it's a small annoyance, but other times the effect can be so overwhelming that you can no longer concentrate on what the speaker is trying to say. The channel uses a split band de -esser. This means that only a narrow band of sibilant frequencies are removed, leaving the rest of the signal unaltered. Next is the Aphex patented optical big bottom processor. This adds punch and depth to the low frequency range. It can add a perceived boost in bass bottom, although the output level does not change. You use the frequency knob to set the big bottom's low pass filter. Now, only frequencies below that low pass filter setting will be processed with compression. Then we use the big bottom amount knob to decide how much of the processed low frequency we want to mix back in with the main input signal. Next, we have a fully parametric mid-range EQ. Using the frequency knob, you can set the frequency of the mid-range EQ anywhere from 240 Hz to 4.5 kHz. Then, use the cut or boost knob to cut or boost that frequency by 12 decibels. Wider bandwidth sounds more musical when boosting, but very narrow bandwidth should be used to cut problem frequencies. Next is the Aphex patented Oral Exciter processor. The Oral Exciter adds detail and clarity to the high frequencies and has been scientifically proven to improve speech intelligibility. The frequency knob is used to set the high pass filter value. It can be set between 1K and 5K. The Oral Exciter generates even order harmonics around the frequencies above the high pass filter. Then we use the Oral Exciter amount knob to determine how much of the high frequencies we want to add in with the input signal. This button turns the EQ chain of the big bottom EQ and oral exciter on or off. The output knob sets the overall master volume of the device and drives the peak meter. As the compressor, the de the mid-range EQ, and the insert can all attenuate the level, it's good to have an output level knob that can compensate for the gain reduction. Let's look at the rear panel. The first feature is an XLR balanced microphone input. Next, channel provides an insert on balanced TRS quarter inch jacks. This insert comes between the dynamics processing and the EQ section of the channel. This allows you to insert your favorite EQ compressor or even a reverb unit for certain applications. The insert return is also before the tube path, so whatever processor you insert will benefit from the warmth of the tube sound. The insert return is also before the output level control. Next, we have the analog output on a balanced plus 4 XLR connector, followed by a balanced tip ring sleeve quarter inch output. Unbalanced cables can also be used if needed, and you can set the operational level of this output to plus 4 or minus 10 dB. The mute jack allows you to wire or use a standard momentary pedal to mute the output of the channel. The talent in front of this broadcast mic would engage the switch if they needed to cough or clear their throat and not have that sound go out over the air. Next is the digital output section. First, we have an AES EBU out on an XLR connector, followed by a coaxial SBDIF and an optical SBDIF output. All of these can output up to 24-bit 96K simultaneously. Channel features both word clock input and output on standard BNC connectors. So channel can be your clock master or it can sync to an external clock from another device. The all-important on-off switch is next followed by the chassis ground lug connector. Channel has its own internal switching power supply so it's ready to go for any region right out of the box. Aphex also includes a power cable that has the proper connections for the electrical outlets of the regions that channel is shipped to. If you're a musician who plays out live and has a home recording studio, the channel can do double duty for you. You can connect it to your mixing console and get professional sounding vocals from your live performance. And you can use it in the studio to get professional sounding tracks. With its wonderful mic free, its amazing processing, and its outstanding analog to digital conversion, the channel is perfect for any recording studio. In live performance, bands often have to play through different PA systems every night. Using channel and your favorite microphone will keep your vocals sounding consistent and professional. In houses of worship, pastors are very dynamic in the way that they speak. Sometimes they almost seem to whisper, while other times they're very loud. All of the processing in channel keeps the levels very consistent, while the oral exciter helps with the speech intelligibility, so we can actually understand the message. Channel replaces Aphex's 230 model, which has become a standard in the broadcast industry. Many legends in the radio industry, like Rick Dees, won't use anything else. Channel is the best product in the market that can actually supply the larger-than-life radio voice. Channel is also a great choice for anyone doing any kind of public speaking, motivational speakers, educators, politicians, and anyone who's really trying to get their message across. With all the channel's incredible features, it'll make sure that your message gets out loud and clear. To sum up, Channel uses the RPA2 Mic Pre, Easy Rider Compression, Logic Assisted Gate, Split Band de Parametric Mid-Range EQ, Optical Big Bottom, and Oral Exciter, all in one rack space. Hey, I appreciate you all watching this training video. I hope that you go to your local Aphex dealer and check out all the products. For more information, check out Aphex online at www.aphex.com.